back to the NRF review channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Rugged Suppressor Surge 762. This suppressor does come complete with a shim kit, a muzzle brake suppressor mount, a front cap removal tool, and of course the suppressor with the addition of the adapt module. Let's take a closer look. All right, the length on this innovative can uh, changes from 9 to 7.5 inches depending on if you have the adapt module on or not. It comes in at 1.5 inches in diameter and weighs 17.5 ounces to 21.5 ounces, again depending on the adapt module. The baffles are 100% stellite, full circumference welded, and the tube is 316L stainless steel, and the mount is 17.4 heat treat stainless. This can has a caliber rating of 762 to 300 RUM, and of course all the smaller calibers 300 blackout 556 respectively. Firing schedule is full auto rated, and the decibel reduction as tested on 308 is 134 to 138 again depending on whether or not the adapt module has been attached and the warranty is unconditional a lifetime as stated on their website drop it off a mountain and they'll replace it no questions asked for free retail is 1300 i'm sure uh, dealer pricing street price will be just a hair lower all right let's take a closer look at the suppressor now that all the specifications are out of the way to remove the end cap use the supplied end cap removal tool insert into the lugs on the front and loosen it. Uh, you can finish it by either spinning the suppressor body itself or using your palm or your hand. The Surge ships with a 762 end cap and they do have a additional 556 end cap for sale uh, and it also obviously quiets it down when shooting uh, 556 specific calibers. All right, moving on to the most interesting feature of this suppressor line is the adapt module. What this does is it gives you the ability to have two suppressors in one. So you can leave it on for like bolt gun shooting, maximum suppression, and then you can remove it to put it in a K configuration for your SBR use, close quarters combat. All right, here's a close up of the Surge and the K configuration. This is my favorite length. Uh, this is definitely something I would keep on my bedside SBR, uh, you know, where maximum suppression is not as important as keeping the length shorter. And this would definitely do a great job at keeping the concussion down to a manageable level inside your home. Uh, so obviously they did a great job with this can. They have modular end caps, they have the modular adapt module, and I definitely hope other suppressors from this company uh, share the same attributes. All right, now that we got the suppressor out of the way, let's take a closer look at the mounting devices that it comes with. Uh, they were nice enough to include a shim kit, so you don't have to go searching around for one of those. On the left side of the screen, you have the 556 muzzle brake, and on the right side, the 762 muzzle brake. Uh, these are very well finished and uh, did a great job at managing recoil and I got to say the 556 version was loud as hell but you know don't got to worry about that if you keep the suppressor on there. To mount it all you do is you uh, screw it down till it stops and then you tighten the locking collar. Uh, to screw it down will take about two and a half full rotations and the locking collar is about a quarter turn to a half turn and it's rock solid. As you can see here, it is a zero movement uh, mount and you can pick it up like a baseball bat and it will not shake at all. I wanted to also show you a list of the minimum barrel length rating on the suppressor. It is a pretty robust can considering how violent some of those calibers are and how short the barrel can be. And with that being said, let's get to the shooting portion of the review. Hope you enjoy. That was, uh, loud.
sounds great. Yeah, sounds good. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Money shot. I like it. Ready? Full auto, 300 blackout. Just kidding. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> 